what's going on world today we're going to build a DVD duplicator tower from scratch I'm going to explain the parts you need and we're going to put it together and you'll see me do it piece by piece so if you want to build a tower this is the how-to what we need is a controller this is a DVD controller card the one I chose is a card I use a card and Athena they're really good cards connection on it is SATA this is my master drive you use the master drive to put whatever you want to duplicate in here so if you wanted to make a copy of your mixtape or your DVD, you put it in here and you make copies of it. And it will talk to these here. SATA cables, of course, for data. This is going to carry the data from the car. Well, not from the car, actually. From the master to the car and, of course, to these. chassis you need the chassis um aka the case a power supply of course i have some fans in here i have three fans to keep it cool because it's going to get a little heated in here with 11 burners running of course you have a power cord target drives a controller a reader drive screws screwdrivers and SATA cables so that's what you need I'll explain more and explain further as we go along and put it together okay I'm going to add the controller first step add the controller get my screws together all these screws are different flush with the power button So we got the burners in. That was pretty much the hard part, I would say, putting the burners in. Um, now it's time for the wiring. So we got to wire it. This cord here. See where it's going to? It's the master channel. This is the master drive. Plug this in here. Okay, now the rest of the cords doesn't really matter where they go because you only have one master, so you just want them to reach. successfully built the DVD duplicator as you can see 